Right, tell the AD champs today, we're going to take the last classic 500 up to the top of that mountain right up there. And you're going to see how the OG original adventure bike gets up that mountain. Let's do it. So, have a look how beautiful it is here. Splendiferous needs to come out here, all, all you motorcyclists. Come out here, ride these roads. Gorgeous peach there, mountain. We're going up that big mountain, you can't even see the top there, but um, yeah. Pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty cool. There's the mountain we're gonna go up. The bullet is made for this, just trust me. The Classic 500's made for this. It's gonna be epic. Epic views up there. Yeah, can't wait to take you up there. Whoa. Right, so here we are on the last Classic 500. Proved to you it's one of the last Classic 500. Build number, what is it? 848. They build a thousand of these in the last run. This is the last one, Tribute Black. And we're going to take the bullet where it belongs, right up the top of the mountain there. People explore the Himalayans on these things. Got the coast down there, so it's basically sea to mountain top. Going to take it to the top of the world, or at least the top of the world where I'm from. So, yeah, look at it. It looks gorgeous. Now, Royal Enfields are the classic original adventure bike. And that's because they made the suspension at the back. So they were the ones that made the articulating arm first with the suspension on the back. They won all the trials with this bike. It is the OG adventure bike. And if you think of what the Indian Army put these through and the people that rid the Himalayans on these bikes, you'll be amazed at what these bikes do. Some people will not actually ride into the Himalayans without a Royal Enfield. Like they will only do it on the Royal Enfield. That's because they have the tractor pull, right? On a sports bike or a high performance bike where all the power is sort of up the top, it's no good for climbing. This thing pulls like a tractor all the way to the top. So let's do it. Let's do it on the bullet, baby. So let's get on this marvelous beast and take it to the top, baby. Top of the world. Let's start her up. You're neutral. Turn her on, start her up course kicks first time every time baby look at that beautiful sea over there bay right up there at the top of the mountain so let's go climbing it's nice and slow up here 15 kilometer an hour corners very steep and if you try it on like a two-stroke or a sports bike it's actually not a nice ride because you really have to be in the higher Rev ranges on this, no problem going up this mountain in the torque range. It just pulls like a tractor all the way up, and it's awesome. Even in a car, you can feel it. You can actually feel it in a car. No entry. Okay, gotta go down here. This is really steep. On wide angle, it won't look that steep, but. Whew. Anyway, let's do it. Let's have a bit of a break. If they're going to ride up to the top, Jesus Christ, I'll tip my hat to them. If they're going to do that, they probably won't go to the top. Probably just going to go in the bushes up here. But here we go. Steep gradient, baby. Let's feel the torque. And already I can feel the track, the pull. There you can see, 15 kilometers, right? There is a, what are they called? Chairlifts that goes right to the top. So what am I in now? Third, put it into second. Look at it, pulling like a tractor. Now you're on a sports bike. You're having to rev it, really. And this handles this in second gear, no problem. Probably gonna go into third. Oh look, it just pulls right up. No problem, high risk area, motorbikes, yes. Motorbikes come flying off here all the time. And look, it's pulling, no problem, third gear. Just pulling up this hill. Oh, so good. It's what it's made for. There's the chairlift there. We'll just drop it down a gear. 15 kilometers an hour. You can imagine how steep this is. It won't show it on the wide angle. And I'll take you for a little look 
at the views, at the lookouts as we go up. That's not the first lookout that's coming. God, I would not want to be running up here and down here. Oh, so steep. Look at it, it just pulls right. Just like a tractor. Oh, went into neutral there. That was second gear, I should have just stuck in that. But look, just pulls up it. This is why people like to ride these bikes up the Himalayans. Because they just pull. This sucks on a sports bike or a high power bike up here. Unless they've got really low down torque, good low down torque, it just sucks. But this thing here, it'll just pull up these no problem all day. You can feel the torque. We'll just go up this lookout here. This is so good, so easy. Look, it's just pulling third gear. Ooh. Listen to it. Pulling up this hill. Yeah, the ears are popping. I think this is a lookout. We'll stop here for a sec. I think this is the first lookout. Just watch there's no cars. There you can see how high we are already. Yeah? Amazing. Have a look at this view. If that's not a million dollar view, that's the um, bay in Melbourne, Port Phillip Bay. Now look at that. Just gonna stop the bike and I'll show you. Look, there's Melbourne over there if you can see it. Um, actually, this is considered metro here. I'll just get a see if I can get a video shot so you can see Melbourne. Okay, so Melbourne's right over there, the city over there, you can see it, pretty far away. And this is the view up here so far. Isn't that amazing? What a view, right? And what a view right here too, on the bullet. Look at that. Oh, does it get any better than that? doesn't get any better than that so let's go to the top yeah they um so last last run they stopped making them now yeah yeah that's fuel injected yeah yeah I love them yeah they're so good you can't beat the old classic bikes so yeah yeah that's right <laughs> have a good time mate yep Everywhere you go, people want to know about the bullet. So anyway, we're climbing back up again. What a view that was, huh? And even the car struggling to pull up here, believe me. This, oh, in the power range, oh, he loves it. Loves it. So slow these corners. Got stuck in neutral there. My gear changes aren't that good today. Oh, here we go. He's going to kill himself. I see. We'll have a quick look at a view up here. There's another lookout. Look at that view. Is that gorgeous or what? Can't beat the view up here, mate. On top of the world, baby. Look at it. It's like glass, the water. It's like glass. It's unbelievable. So anyway, let's go to the top. Second gear, pulling, woof. How good's this? Oh, 
I love it. You just you just cruise. You know, this is first, second, third gear. Is this the last lookout? I think it is. So we'll just go to the last lookout. Gotta watch out for cars around here. And this is the last lookout. Until we get to the top. And we're staying down there somewhere, so. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful thing. Just wait for this car. It's really steep. You gotta see this to believe it. Kangaroos, watch out for them! Look in third gear and it's still pulling like a tractor. And here's the top of the mountain, baby. The eagle has landed. Arthur's seat. The eagle has landed. We have landed. The Royal Enfield Classic 500, the last bullet. The last Classic 500 on top of the world, baby. Yeah. Oh, what's he got? That's a KTM adventure bike there. That'll be nice to ride around here. Is it the KTM? Looks like a KTM, just the orange. Don't know my KTMs to be honest. Looks nice. And yeah, this is where you come up. You have a coffee. You can have a look at the view here. It's no different to the view I showed you before. Actually, it's not as good if anything. But yeah, let's go to the bottom. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this ride up to the top of the world on the Classic 500. Let's ride down too, eh? Ride down. We'll see what it's like riding down. A little bit of a U-turn here. It's this some sort of oh, boutique hotel. What a view that hotel would have, eh? Look at that. <laughs> oh. Doesn't get any better than that. Nice turning circle on this bike. It is a bit wet, so I've got to be a bit careful. If you have a look at the tyres I've got on this, they're like adventure bike tyres. Yeah, let's go down and enjoy the view. We're going to shut up and you can just hear the bullet, the beautiful motor doing its thing and you can just enjoy the view. So yeah, catch you in the next one guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe for more content, of course. Ciao. Classic Mercedes.
have it right at the bottom.